In this video, I'm going to uncover the top things you're gonna to need to know if you're looking to move to Bowmanville. I'm out here during a heat wave, so it's hot, I'm going to sweat, but I'm doing this just to help those that are looking to move here, whether to be for just a visit or if you're actually looking to move here permanently. And we're getting into it right after this. Hey, what's going on? It's Brad Gates and I'm a local realtor here in the Durham region. If it's your first time watching my videos, like them. If it's your first time uh, watching the videos, subscribe to the channel. It lets me know people are enjoying what I'm putting out there. Uh, these videos just help people that are looking to move to the Durham region, just to give them a little bit of a glimpse in terms of what it's actually like here and the top things that you need to know. This video is just gonna be uncovering uh, the top things that you should know about Bowmanville. I have people reaching out from all over the world that are looking at moving to the Durham region and I absolutely love it. So if you're looking to move to or from the Durham region, greater Toronto area, all you have to do is call, text, email, you can send the carrier pigeon, uh, whatever is easiest for you and I'm here to make your move and relocation go so much easier. So without further ado, let's jump into the video and get started with my first video within Bowmanville and we're getting into it right now. Bowmanville actually has a GO train line that's coming. Uh, so this was announced a few years ago and it's actually right behind me there. There's a little bridge that's at ba Bowman View, Bowmanville Avenue uh, and it's just south of Highway 2 and pretty much at some point this will be a GO station. Not exactly sure where the GO train station will go. It's going to be a major construction that happens. Uh, though there was a delay, this has been going on for a few years, and the most recent delay was the negotiations between Metrolinx and uh, CN Rail or CP Rail. And pretty much they were just trying to negotiate GO train access to the CP or CN Rail tracks that are there. And I guess they're working through all of that. It is on the Metrolinx website that they have planned the stop here they actually are going to be routing the stop because currently the GO train line runs south of the 401 and it stops in Oshawa and then it's right at Thornton Road. So they are looking at diverting it uh, north of the 401 and then kind of work its way. They're going to make a stop on Ritson Road in Oshawa. They're going to make another stop in Curtis and then there's going to be the one in Bowmanville. Who knows long term what the actual plans of everything are, but uh, for now, right now, behind me, this is where the Metrolinx actually has proposed the GO station to go. It is a convenient location and it would make commuting to Toronto much easier from Bowmanville because you won't be so reliant on the 401. While we're here, we might as well go over our second point, which should have been our first, but I'll just leave it in the order that I've written it down, uh, is uh, Bowmanville is 75 kilometers east of Toronto and pretty much it's an area made up of homes and retail it's accessible to toronto it's not the best of commutes but it is commutable and then with this go train that i just mentioned it is very uh it will be a very commutable uh, not sure how long the trip would actually take from bowmanville to toronto on the go station but it will be something that it is uh, possible it's uh, very green, lots of parks, lots of green space. Uh, they do have quite a bit of plans for Bowmanville and the development. It is an area that a lot of people have been moving to and it's just because of affordability, but then also because it is a nice place to live. Uh, there's not sirens very often. If you're watching my last Toronto video, you'll see that I say sirens are a lot in Toronto. Bowmanville doesn't typically have them. But of course, when I'm filming a video, uh, fire truck just going by. So I'll leave that in there for fun. But uh, let's jump on to our next point. Our third point has to do with uh, Bowmanville having a, a little downtown, like a little quaint downtown. It's not huge, uh, but it just, it's a nice place to come. It has character. Uh, my wife used to actually work downtown Bowmanville and the odd time we would uh, park and just walk around. And uh, one, things I rem one thing I remember was when uh, she was working and they had like the Maple Fest or something like that. And uh, she ended up bringing home like maple bacon bread. I don't know, it was like really good. Uh, so the downtown itself is, is really nice and uh, it's not overly busy. 
and uh, it's just really pretty and somewhere nice to come uh, during the winter time it uh, looks like something that you would see in kind of like a, uh, a Christmas Hallmark movie uh, so it's definitely something to check out and a huge plus for people that are looking to move to a small town that has a lot of character uh, so let's jump on to our next point our fourth point has to do with uh, Bowmanville's population, about 40,000 people. And if you want to look at what they have planned as a city or a town and uh, just see if it's a good area to either invest or to live with the hopes that you're going to get future appreciation, is you look at what the towns or what Bowmanville would be doing uh, to help draw people here. And some of the things is like they've built up with a ton of new homes that uh, are being developed, tons of builders here. And uh, the waterfront is very nice. They've built that up as well. And then you're also having things like the GO Train expansion, which they're trying to make it easier for people that are looking to move, uh, but still maybe work in Toronto and they also have a lot of shopping so if you're at highway 2 as you're heading towards curtis you'll see that they have the big box stores they have a huge canadian tire they have a um oh what's the name of the store uh home depot like they have like everything set up there uh, plus many other stores that you uh, would possibly need and it's just as a town bowmanville has been doing a very good job with uh, developing it in a way which is appealing to people the next thing you're going to want to know about Bowmanville is it is very kid friendly, family friendly. 25% uh, of the actual population is under 19 years old. So it's great for people who are families looking to move here. And uh, you can tell when you're driving through, like before I, uh, I actually parked, uh, there's a bike on the road over there. Uh, so it's that kind of stuff when you're looking to move somewhere that uh, has a higher population of kids that you're gonna see stuff like that. And uh, there's parks and green space, uh, the houses, they have a huge range of houses that can cater to new families starting out or people who are just looking to move to a bigger house. Uh, that kind of covers off this point in relation to uh, you know, it being very kid and family friendly. So let's jump on to our next point. Our next point has to do with how commutable Bowmanville can be. And what I mean by that is there's different options. So you're not just restricted to the 401. You have the 407, which is a toll road. And it was just recently over the last few years extended all the way through Bowmanville. It used to stop in Pickering and then it went through um, Oshawa and then Bowmanville. And now it hits the 115 on your way through to Lindsay and the Kawartha Lakes. Uh, so you do have the 407. There was a toll connector road, which took you from the 407 to the 401. And pretty much it um, is a toll free road now. It happened as of April when the, uh, on, there was an election with the premiers. And that was one of the campaign promises that uh, I guess they did before the actual election for uh, bonus points. Uh, so you do have the 407, you have the 418, and then you have the 401. But then you also have the, uh, the GO train that will be coming. Hopefully they come up with a date in terms of when that's coming soon. Uh, but right behind me, you see the 407 and I'm at Concession Road 6. Uh, that's kind of how far north it is. So it's more in like the Hampton neighborhood of uh, North Bowmanville type thing. Uh, but it's great to have an option there. So if you are working for a company that pays for your 407, the commute to Bowmanville won't be that bad, uh, depending obviously on where you're coming from. So our next plus of Bowmanville or point thing that you should know if you are looking to move here has to do with uh, them having a waterfront. So Bowmanville has kind of two. They have an east beach and then they have a west beach. So the east beach is set up more with the park and you'll be able to kind of see behind me in a second uh, park and splash pad. Uh, so it kind of gives you a little bit of that but then you do have a little sandy or uh, stony beach that's kind of uh, set on the west side of this little parkette. Uh, so this beach kind of gives you the best of both worlds, especially on a hot, humid day. It's just really good to uh, have that breeze coming through. And it's a really nice, um, it's a nice atmosphere that's here. And there's tons of kids that you'll kind of see running around the park in the splash pad. And uh, you get those views as well. So you can't go wrong. Uh, let's jump on to our next point where uh, you know, we'll continue on the things you need to know if you are looking to move uh, to the Bowmanville area. 
So this here I'll throw in as a bonus point because it's summer right now during a heat wave, so it might not hold much relevance. Uh, but uh, one bonus point and has to do with old Scugog Road there behind me is uh, during Christmas time they really do an amazing job in terms of decorating all the homes for Christmas. People come from throughout the greater Toronto area to kind of go and and check it out and come and drive through and just look at all the houses and there's tons of pictures online the old Scugog Christmas lights it's definitely something to check out if you're coming to visit or live here uh, during Christmas time uh, you're going to want to make the drive here you're going to check it out and uh, you'll enjoy it too especially if you have young kids they'll they'll love it uh, there's just the homes they do an amazing job uh, you'll notice I'm not wearing my jacket anymore I tried uh, <laughs> but it was just too hot I will uh, you know maybe bring it on later when the Sun goes down a little bit but that was the video I hope you enjoyed it if you did be sure to like it if uh, you forgot at the beginning subscribe to the channel that way you're up to date every time I do post new videos plus it lets me know people are enjoying what I'm putting out there it was a hot day heat wave about 32 degrees so if I've been sweating throughout the whole video my apologies I can't help it but uh, I have families reaching out from all over the world that are looking to move to the Durham region and I absolutely love it so if you're looking to move to or from the Durham region be sure to call text email you can send the carrier pigeon whatever is easiest for you and I'm more than happy to help and make your move relocation go so much easier. If you uh, have time, check out the videos on my channel as well, which will uncover what it's like to live within the Durham region. This was my first video within Bowmanville, so you're going to want to stay tuned for the next few weeks as I do release new videos. Uh, thanks for watching, and until next time.